Hello everyone. So today we are going to learn about the chapter 4 from the IT Planets Code AI Plus book of a class 7. So the chapter is Internet Ethics and Safeguard. So what we are going to learn in this, in this chapter. So we are using internet every day either from our computer, from laptop, mobile, many devices, okay, we can use a internet. So, the objective of this chapter is to understand how we can protect ourselves on web. Web means internet. And the second objective is how parents and teachers can help their children and students, you know, to protect themselves from cybercrime. So it is a responsibility of the parent and teacher to guide their kids and the students. So on the very first page, we can see there is a, you know, day-to-day -day life uh, conversation is given. So let's begin with that. So it will give us a idea about this chapter. So my mother has received an email stating that she has won a prize money worth of 10 lakhs. Do you think it can be true? Is it possible? No, it must be fake email. In fact, it comes under the category of cyber crimes. So the question must be came in your mind like what is a cyber crime? Same thing happened with mother. Cyber crime. I have never heard about it before. So what is a cyber crime? Cyber crime means it is a criminal activity performed by using an electronic device like a computer. So the criminal activity like so someone is stealing you know your account account information from the internet so it is a crime so they are forcing you to pay you know or they are trying to hack your account details and they can do any illegal activity in your account so this is this is a crime you agree with me this is a crime yes so this is so whatever crime is done over the internet it is called cyber crime so how does cyber crime happen so next question right how do cyber crime affect our lives so you might be having all this question in your mind as well so okay so let us find out answer together for all these our queries about the cyber crime in this chapter so you might be now understand and got like why we went through this example and what exactly the objective of this chapter. So we will begin the chapter now.